In this video, we're going to unbox, test, and review the Caloric XL Digital Smart Fryer. Hey everybody, it's Sheldon from Shelltech, where I unbox, test, and review small appliances, gadgets, and technology products. Every product that I review, I actually buy and use in my home. So if you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button. Links to all the products I review will be below in the description. The XL Digital Smart Fryer is made by Caloric, a Belgian company. It comes with a one-year warranty and I purchased this at Nordson Rack for $99. This Caloric Smart Fryer has seven preset menus, has a timer up to 60 minutes with an auto shut off. This model also comes in black and white and is very easy to clean. What's in the box is a warning, the registration card. You have your digital Smart Fryer manual. You have this little small cookbook with some re nice recipes. You have a divider for the basket. So if you want to separate your dishes and you have the air fryer. Caloric suggests to put this on a heat resistant surface. So we put it on a counter board. The Caloric XL Digital Smart Fryer actually consists of two baskets. You have one where you place your food item and you have the other which does the actual cooking and holding. So you have a bread button that you press and they separate for easy cleaning. For my first test of this air fryer. So I cut up a few large potatoes, put in a nice bowl. The instructions said to put a half a teaspoon of oil in with the fries. So I put one half teaspoon of grapeseed oil. Yeah, I guess you could use any type of oil, but that's what we had on hand. I then shook up the bowl to make sure all the fries were covered evenly in the oil. Opening the fryer isn't too bad. You just press the button in, pull out the basket, and start putting your ingredients inside the fryer. In this case, I used tongs to transfer the coated fries into the basket, as the manual states not to dump things into the basket. Now that I have all my fries transferred into the basket, with just a small little force, I put the basket back into the fryer using just one hand. Well, somehow I must have misread the instructions for making fries in the air fryer because I gave it a little bit too much time and at the end you'll see it's a little bit crispy. So at this point I put it at 390 degrees for 20 minutes and let it run. The air fryer ran relatively quiet. It did give off a little bit of a smell, but that's due to the appliance being brand new. When the caloric air fryer signaled that it was done, I took out the extra crispy fries by pressing the red button and pulling out the basket. I have to be very careful when taking out the food out of the basket because the basket is very hot. So I used tongs to transfer the fries to my bowl so I could season them out. So I did give my fries a little bit too much time in the air fryer so they came out a little bit more crispy than they're supposed to. But I don't think my crispy fries was too bad. But it, my wife made some beautiful pork and potatoes using this air fryer and they were so delicious. Well, I still enjoyed my crispy fries with a little bit of salt and pepper. I highly recommend the Caloric XL Digital Smart Fryer for its ease of use, its easy cleanup, and for its fast, delicious food. 